guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Amanda. Today is week 26. Um, it's a couple days, it's a day late, um, but I've been just so busy with everything. I had RNY gastric bypass on June 22nd, 2017 in Federal Way, Washington at St. Francis Hospital with Dr. Haroon Anwar. Um, my highest weight was 302, surgery weight was 266, and my current weight is 182.7. So that's a loss of 120 pounds since my highest weight and 84 pounds since surgery. Um, I'm breaking out like crazy because it's my time of the month, but my ablation has made it pretty much next to nothing, which is really nice. Um, I'm definitely healed from that other than I have my period, which is just like spotting here and there. It's so nice. No cramping, nothing. Like just the only thing I know it's my period time is because my face is like breaking out everywhere. But other than that, it's been great. This week I lost, um, close to two pounds. It's definitely slowing down, but I'm okay with that. Um, I just want to keep going with my, sorry, a text message cut me off. Um, but yeah, this week my eyes. I definitely can almost see 2020, which is great. And I just keep doing my drops and I'm super excited. Um, it's just amazing. Like I was driving to Walmart and Winko and Costco today and I could just, it was hardly blurry at all. Like, I think the only thing that looked blurry was the, like, I can see detail on trees and stuff, but the only thing that was blurry was like the lights. Everything else though I could see, it was pretty neat. Um, very blessed. Today is, today is December 22nd, which is me and my husband's six year wedding anniversary. So we will be going to get some Indian food again, cause it's so good. And, um, we've been together nine and a half years and it just feels like so much longer. Um, I just, he's my everything. So yeah, today's going to be a good day. I'm going back to the gym tomorrow, so I'm pretty excited for that. Christmas Eve, Sunday, and I'm going back to church for the first time. Um, most people don't know, but I grew up going to a, a Bethel Baptist, and it was almost like a cult. Like, you couldn't wear jean material. You couldn't wear jeans. You had to wear skirts. You had to wear, like, certain things. You couldn't couldn't read Harry Potter. I loved all and um I loved all the Harry Potter books so much and they made me get rid of them and I just they were very much cool. Anyway, I went to Christian school for Christian school for a couple of years and then the church kind of separated into two. Like because like it was just becoming ridiculous ridiculous. Um so I left the church with my family, with my mom and dad and my sister and brother and then my aunt's family followed later and I started getting into drugs getting arrested it got pregnant when I was 16 as y'all know if you watch previous videos and um they really talked bad about me and they said it was my my aunt who had said it but I don't know I don't know who is who it was I just know everyone at that my old Christian school and church were talking bad about me saying I had AIDS and those words really took root and it kind of gives me anxiety to think about going back to church like for a long time and um my mom um is really deep with the lord and sat down with me on the phone for about two hours and told me about how words can seed and root into your life and um i need to forgive those people and move on and i need the fellowship of other Christians. So I am going back to church on Christmas Eve because that's honestly the it was the first Sunday after healing from two surgeries. So we will be going to church with my son's best friend's family. And we are pretty, pretty excited. I'm pretty excited for my children to hear the word. And um, my husband was raised, raised Catholic, so I really hope he comes too. I'm not really pushy about it, but I really want him to. Um, but if you don't I'm not pushing, you know, Christianity on anybody. If you don't believe in Christ, that's fine. That's your opinion. But this is my channel and I believe in Christ. So I'm just really excited to get back to church. And what else is happening this week? I think that's it. My, hus my husband, um, 
work this week. This is the first week back to work. My son was home, so I got to sleep in. Um, it's just been nice, and I've been eating well. I got pretty much every um, vitamin, and uh, vitamin in. I missed one dinner time vitamin. Um, I have a container in my dinner time vitamins. I forgot, but that was one time. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, yeah. So this week's been good. I will see you next week for week 27.